Veteran Success Center, it helps all of our military affiliated students. Okay. We have veterans, we have uh, active duty members, National Guard, reservists, veteran dependents, and also our uh, military spouses. So we help them with the entire process of coming in with the application, getting advising classes, and then we support them too while they're here. So How many are we talking? Well, in total, we have about over 720 wow. military connected students on campus. So we really provide a really great service to a good population. Can you tell me how has the Veterans Success Center changed since it was uh, the grand opening, I guess, six years ago in 2016? Oh, it's definitely changed. Our, uh, we've seen a growth in our uh, number significantly, um, and we support our students. We've actually done a lot of community work with our local partners and brought some of those community partners to campus to provide resources to our students. So we've networked with over the past six years and bringing those resources to campus for our students to get the much needed resources that they need and to know about what's available um, to them as uh, you know going through their journey at CSUB. You know, uh, we're talking ab uh, about this and some of the other events that take place, like uh, you have uh, marked Veterans Day on several occasions. I remember the Black Hawk helicopter that came in. Yes, yes, that was um, a very fun event. And we had such a great response. And um, it was, uh, I wish we could do it again, but because of the pandemic, we've had to cut back a little bit. But um, I'm looking forward to us bringing it uh, back again. Um, our students were so excited and it really created a, an atmosphere to, um, um, provide some culture of our military culture of, mm -hmm. to our students and perspective and it was just a really great event and I'm looking forward to it. I don't again. know how you're going to top that. <laughs> it, it's, that's kind of hard. Our, our students asked what are you going to do bring the president next time so <laughs> I said I don't know. <laughs> what is one of the biggest things or biggest advantages that when they come when a veteran or a military member a spouse comes into the uh, veteran success center that they find that they might not really have realized that you provide? So we provide one-on-one -on -one assistance and we provide um, a one-stop shop. So students are able to come um, with any concerns that they may have to the university. We really network with our supportive services on campus. So we really want them to feel welcome, um, have a place to where they can uh, talk to us regarding anything that they need um, help and assistance with, whether if it's on campus, if it's off campus, we provide the resources and we provide a person for them, which is the best thing that a student can get as a direct contact. You know, since starting in 2016, getting back to that, Obviously, it's been six years, so you have had several of these students go through the process and graduate. What is that feeling like for you personally to see them when they get to walk the stage like that? Oh, it's amazing. I tell my students that I'm so proud of them, and um, you know, it's it's a it's an emotional time for me too because I know how hard they've worked. I know their backstories. I know their families. I get a chance to meet their children and their spouses, and I'm just so proud of them. I look forward to it every year, and we do a, a graduation recognition every year oh, okay. so I get a chance to really see them um, go and, and, and get their cord by President Zelezny. She's so supportive of our students and she presents them with the cord at the end of their uh, program and then they're able to use that or wear that during commencement. Fantastic. Jamie yeah. Pacheco with the CSUB Veteran Success Center. The meet and greet is next Wednesday August 24th at 1130 at the center. Thanks for coming. All right. This thank you. Thank you.